Hello friends, welcome to our 11th lesson, Learning is in Debele. In our previous sessions from lesson 1 up to lesson 10, we were looking at the different ways in which we produce sounds in Isindebele. We looked at the different types of sounds from the vowels to the consonants. And as part of the consonants, we considered the click sounds. The clicks are probably the most difficult sounds to produce in Isindebele, as most people uh, uh, say. All right? So we looked at all that. I know probably for now it hasn't really made any sense. As you know, we're just looking at producing sounds out of context. But now we're getting to the exciting part. We're getting to the stage where we produce sounds and make words and make sentences from those words. I'm sure by now we'll be able to produce those words because we have an idea of how to produce the sounds. And so we looked at the different places of articulation as well as the manner of articulation. And we said we name sounds according to the places that they are articulated from as well as the manner in which they are uh, articulated. And so we have, just as a recap, we've got bilabials, labiodental, alveolar, prepalatal, velar, and glottal sounds. All right, and we uh, we looked at the alphabet. Okay, we said we can actually look at the alphabet from A to Z and see which sounds Ndevele utilizes from that. And you will see that under each letter you can have a multiple uh, set of sounds that you can uh, utter or articulate depending on the manner. Some are voiceless, some are voiced. Some are unaspirated, some are aspirated, but we don't want to bog you down on all those technicalities. It will all make sense by and by. And so, just uh, you know, another reminder in terms of the clicks, we've got the dental clicks. That's the unaspirated, the aspirated ones, the depressed ones, nasalized, and so forth. And then we've got the post alveolar one. And then we've got the alveolar lateral. Ah, okay, and so we also talked about affricates, which is a combination of sounds that are fricative and that are stops, so that you articulate them at the same time to produce sounds like cha. All right, we are going to discuss all this in context as we move along, and so this is just a reminder of the different places of articulation that we have right from the bilabials to the dentals uh, this is the tip of the tongue and the dorsum or the uh, central part of the tongue and the blade of the tongue which is at the edges there and we also have the alveolar ridge the prepalatal the palatal the velum the glottalic and so forth all right so don't worry much about that now. We want to move into the actual speaking. It's in Debele. Remember, we said we're going to add in an exciting element, an exciting dimension to this whole thing. We're going to be comparing some aspects of It's in Debele with Isi Shona. Why in Debele and Shona? Because these two uh, languages form part of the majority uh, in terms of the number of speakers in Zimbabwe. Of course, we are yet to have definitive numbers in terms of how many speakers there are in the valley and how many uh, Shona speakers there are, but that's not really the issue here. The issue is that we know that it will be much easier for some people to learn, you know, a language when you relate it with, a, with another language that is geographically closer uh, or closest to it. And who knows, you might just kill two birds with one stone and learn two languages uh, at the same time. So we move on to uh, the next lesson, which is on greetings. All right. So in this lesson, we're going to consider how you say your greetings in Isindebele. This should be exciting. So how do you greet somebody when you meet them for the first time or when you're meeting them after a long break or a long period without uh, meeting? You say, Sabubona. Sabubona. Literally, it means, oh, uh, 
I am seeing you, okay? But uh, you will find that we have some 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 issues to uh, to to observe here. When you say sagu bona, it's in a singular uh, form. Sagu bona is singular. You will find that most people uh, nowadays say salivonani, even when they are speaking to one person. Now, this is a wrong way of greeting in Devele. If you are greeting one person, even if they are your elder, you do not show respect by uh, using the plural form salivonani. You use sagubona. Okay? So, you will find that most people, because they have been acculturated to the Shona uh, culture, which is uh, in close contact with Ndebele, Shona uses honorific markers, which are like plural in form, where they say, for example, Makadini, Makadini, even if it's one person, if it's an elder uh, that you are speaking to, you say, Makadini, which is, how are you? Or, oh, Moroi, is opposed to Moro. Moro is single, singular, Moroi is plural. But in this case, it's not really plural if you're addressing somebody um, in, in, in a form of respect, okay? So, in Devele, you can't do the same and say, Salivonani, to one person. You can only say salivonani if you are addressing a group of people or at least two people. So next time, remember it's sagubona. And the person will respond, yebo. If it's an elderly person, he or she will say, yebo mtanami unjani. Right? So in other words, you can inflect the sagubona and say, sagubona koko. That is, hello, grandma, or Sagubona kulu. Hello, grandpa. Sagubona mganewami. Hello, my friend. Okay? So, sagubona is the core of the greeting. And the, and the response is, Yevo. O, Yevo mtanam. Yevo mganewami. Unjani. Right? So, let's take it from the top. Sagubona. Yevo. Unjani. Nyapila. Unjani lawe. So you're taking turns here. So when you greet somebody, you wait for them to greet you back. You inquire further. All right? And in that process, you're actually building up a conversation. Sagubona. Yebo. Unjani. Nyapila. Unjani lawe. So it will be impolite to just say Nyapila and end there. You also have to inquire after the health of the person who has started the greeting. So, Nihapila, Unjani Lawe, I'm fine. How are you? Okay? Hai Nikona, Banjani Abany. So, you can say it in whichever way you want. You can just say Nikona or Nihapila or Hai Nikona, Banjani Abany. So, now you move it a step further to ask how others are. I'm fine. I'm fine. How are the others? In other words, where you are coming from. So, it's important to understand that in the Ndevele culture, it's not enough for an individual to be fine. You cannot be fine if those uh, uh, whom you are associated with are not fine. Okay? So, you go on to respond, They are fine. They are fine. Or, they are well. Okay? No, no literally means better. They are better. But in this context, it means they are well. Okay? Especially if somebody has been unwell uh, in recent times. And then you say, no, no. we know that. We are saying that they are recovering. Okay. So, let's take a pause and have you uh, with somebody strike this conversation from Sagubona up to Via Pila. So, how was that for your first practice speaking in Isindevele? It was fun, right? Right. Let's carry on. So, we said 
Sagubona, we, we are assuming that you're addressing one person here. But if you're addressing a number of people from two onwards, you are well, okay, if you say Salibonani, you can't say Sagubona to more than one person because Sagubona is singular. So you have to say Salibonani, and they will all respond, Yevo. Then you say now, instead of Unjani, you say Linjani. How are you? Okay? Sikona singabuza lina or Sikona singabuza wena. If you are working with somebody, they will say Sikona singabuza lina. We are fine. How are you? Singabuza lina literally means uh, we can ask you, as in, we are fine. We are more worried about you. So it's Sikona singabuza lina. We are fine. How are you? Then uh, you can go on to say, Banjani Abanyi, Hai Vaya Pila. Okay, so the conversation can take any whichever form. So this is it about greetings. Let's keep practicing this and we'll meet in the next lesson, the twelfth lesson, where we continue with learning is in the valley.